this is it. The sand has been silting up on this side of the island, so they moved the channel further out and built a new lighthouse about 40 years ago. This one's all deserted now. Where's your house? Oh, there. And that's Main Street and the harbor, and, and over there's an old wreck, but you can only see it at low tide. Eh, it's pretty boring anyway. This is perfect. I used to just sit here and think of this ocean going everywhere that people go, and somewhere, people sitting on a beach and looking back at the water, just like us. You think a lot. You know, when I was your age, said Grandma, <laughs> I used to think about makeup and boys and telephones and boys and stuffed animals and boys. <laughs> the stuffed animals gave me the best return on my time, though. How about a muffin? Sounds good. What's your phone? This is my mother's hat. Kind of like her lucky hat. The last time I saw her, I mean, before the accident, she was wearing this hat. She always wore this hat. This was her bike. It's a long story. I'm in no rush. We used to come out here first thing when she got back for the summer. It was like our place to get reacquainted, have a mother daughter. So this is a special place. Yes. She would tell me all about her orangutans and then she'd go develop her pictures. And I remember the last time she'd given the orangutans our names. Esther was the bossy one and Paul was the one that made faces all the time. And Rachel was very, very quiet. I had forgotten all that. You know, sometimes I think about her and I tell myself if I think about her, somehow she's still alive. <laughs> That's crazy, right? It's not crazy, that's miles and miles from crazy. I went with her once to Kenya when I was nine, and, and I was on her way the whole time, though she never said so. Next summer I lied. I said it was too hot and I wanted to stay on the beach. But I could have helped her now. I know how to tag the animals, I can do the weighing and the observing, and we could have been friends. That's what she wanted. How about you? I just wanted her to be my mother. She was a good scientist. I think she was the best, but she was away a lot. And she took risk. Going up on that mast was reckless. It was stupid and reckless. And why does anyone talk about that? I don't know, Rachel. Well, she shouldn't have gone up there. She was my mother. And if she had acted like my mother just that one time, then maybe she'd be alive today. Rachel, 